Okay, buddy, here is our problem set for lesson 20. All right, make sure your name and date are at the top. So, Alfonso solved the division problem by drawing an area model. Look at the area model. What division problem did Alfonso solve? Well, Alfonso, let's see what he solved here. So, when well, you know what division, all right? In division, we take all the numbers and we divide it down into smaller groups. Now, so, it looks like here he's dividing by four, okay? So the, the, how we would figure out the division problem here is first by looking at what, what was the multiplication problem. What is 10 plus 8? Remember that? That'd be 18, right? So what they figured out was 10 or 4 times 18. And they split that 18 into a 10 and an 8. But in division, you start with the whole thing. So what we need to do here is add this 40 and 32. So over here, let's just do that. I'm gonna say 40 plus 32. That's something I can do in my head. But I wanna show you what I'm doing in my head. Zero plus two is two, four plus three is seven. So what they did here was take all this whole thing as they did 72 divided by, that's right, four. And the answer was what you see up top, 10 plus eight. 18. Okay, now that looked like really different to you, all right? And that's supposed to, all right? This is something new that you've never tried before. So today is all, it's gonna be brand new things, okay? So this is how we figured that out. And we're gonna do some more practice on this, all right? So I just want you again to keep an open mind and to figure it out. Now, down here is part B to this. We're gonna show a number bond. And we did number bonds last year, actually, uh, a lot with this. So I know I'm asking you to think back pretty far, but I know in third grade, we did these number bonds for division. So let's give it a shot, all right? And don't worry, I'll be right with you the whole way. Show a number bond to represent Alfonso's area model, all right? So there's this right here, the area model, is that right there. So we need to make a number bond that matches that. Start with the total and then show how the total is split into parts. Below the two parts represent the total length using the distributive property then solve. So I know it got more confusing as we read, but let's just take it step by step. So we're going to start with the total, all right? Step one. There's the total amount, 72. So we're going to put our 72 in right here, okay? There, I got that all set. And then we're going to show, show how the total is split into two parts, okay? Do you see up here? These are the two parts. So this is part one, this is 40, here's 32, that goes right here, 32. Okay, so I'm, I'm dissecting this problem bit by bit, all right? I'm not trying to do the whole thing at once, just trying to do what I can and solve each problem in pieces. Now it says below the two parts, these are the two parts for 72, because remember 40 plus 32 is 72. That's how it's split in this number bond. Represent the total length using the distributive property. Okay, so what we need to do here, you see it's this division? So we're gonna show this 40 here. And what did we divide by? Do you remember? That's right, that's four. We divided that by four. And the answer came out to be here. Do you see that up top? That's a 10. We're gonna write that 10 right there. And then 32, there's a 32, the other part of it. So I'm gonna write that here, it was 32, divided by, you remember? Yeah, the same number, it's four, okay? And then 32 divided by four, that was eight, okay? Just like that. And then if I add the 10 and the eight together, I end up with 18, like that, okay? And that's it. That's the whole number bond. We did it, all right? Teachers, feel free to pause here or uh, to go over this or to teach in your, in your specific way. Uh, and kids, I encourage you, raise your hand, ask questions, okay? So next problem is the same problem, but now we have to draw things out, and we can do this. We're gonna use this problem here to help us solve this problem here, just with different numbers. So let's give it a shot. Let's read it. Solve. 45 divided by 3 using an area model, period, stop. 
All right, so up here that is 72 divided by four equals 18. We need to do 45 divided by three. Okay. Draw a number bond and use the distributive property to solve for the unknown length. So we need to do basically all of these steps. All right, so let's give it a shot. So the first thing I'm going to do is 45 divided by three. All right. So I'm going to draw a rectangle here. Just like that, okay. All right, and I need to decide how I'm going to divide my 45 up. All right, so I'm gonna to decide how my 45 up. So let's draw this number bond starting here. And here's my 45. And I need to make a little bond down here. And I need to make a bond down here, okay? Just like that. <clears throat> and what I need to do is think to myself, what does the number three, I need to split 45 into two smaller numbers that three can fit into evenly, all right? And what I'm thinking about here is, I know three times 10 is 30. I know three times five is 15 and 30 plus 15 is 45. So I'm gonna split this into a 30 and a 15, okay? And that's gonna help me out over here, decide how I'm going to finish my rectangle, my area model, okay? All right, so in here was 30, in here is 15. And then what I'm going to do is label this as three because this is 45 divided by three. Okay, we split this, see how we split this 45 into a 30 and 15, there's the area model. So now I'm gonna ask myself, what times three is 30? You know the answer? That's right, it's 10. And then what times three is 15? That's right, that's five, that goes here. So I know my answer is gonna be 10 plus five. My answer here is gonna be 15. And let's show that over here using the distributive property. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Down here, copying what I see up top, will be 30 divided by three. And then I'm going to get down here, 10. Over here will be 15, also divided by three. And down here, I'll get five. Add those together, I get 15, okay. Now the most difficult part of this whole thing was deciding how I was gonna break my 45 down, okay? I couldn't just choose any random numbers. Like for example, I couldn't just say, I'm gonna break 40 down into a 40 and a five. Because three doesn't divide into 40 very evenly. And I, so I'd have to think, this is where the thinking happens is, what two numbers will three fit into evenly when I break it down in this circumstance, okay? So that's the, that's the major um, the problem that we have to do. So you have to really know how to break apart your numbers to fit right. All right, let's keep moving, all right? Let's take a look at number three on the back. We're going to solve 64 divided by four using an area model, period, stop. And draw a number bond to show how we partition the area and represent the division with a, with a written method. So the written method is going to be um, actual long division, okay? So let's first start with our number bond. Let's start with the total, 64, okay? That's good. And then I'm gonna break this down into two numbers. Okay, so I have to think to myself, two numbers that four can fit into evenly. And I always like to think about base 10 as my model, don't you? What would four times 10 be? Wouldn't that be 40? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna split my 64 into a 40, and then how much more of a 64? Let's count up by tens. 40, 50, 60, Oh, and then four more. So I got 24 fit, fit over here. And I know that four times six is 24. 
So there's my number bonds. Now let's do the area model. So that's what I'm gonna do, area model. Here's my 10, all right, and there's my six. All right, so what I'm going to do is put in 40 here, and I'll put in 24 there. I know I'm dividing by four, just like that, great. So now I know that 40 divided by four is 10, and 24 divided by four is six. My answer is gonna be 16. All right, so let's show that over here. 40 divided by four is 10, plus 24 divided by four is six. Put those together, I get 16. Now it asks us to do the written method. And let's see what that looks like. All right, 64 divided by four. This is where I'm gonna change colors because it helps out a little bit. All right, so four fits in the six one time. One times four is four. And then I subtract. Six minus four is two. Two is smaller than four, I'm good. Four, drop that down. There's that 24. Four fits into 24 six times. Six times four is 24. I subtract, I get zero. 16 and 16. That's all set. All right, that's good. Okay, now the next one, we'll move on to that one, see how that works. All right. So solve 92 divided by four using an area model. Okay, explain using words, pictures, numbers. Um, or numbers, the connection of the distributive property to the area model. So it's the same way that we're doing up here. All right, I'm just gonna do down here. All right, so let's do that. So I'm gonna start with my number bond in the middle, and this is 92. Now I need to split this into two even numbers here. Okay, so I need to get as close, I need to split this up pretty close to 92. And I know four times 10 is only 40, all right? What about four times 20? What would that be? That's right, if you said 80, you're correct. Now, can we split that 92 into an 80 and a 12? I think so, because three times four is 12, right? And four times 20 is 80. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split this into an 80 and a 12. Yeah, that's some major thinking right there outside the box. So now what we're going to do is make a nice big area model for that. And over here, I'm gonna be dividing by four. I'm gonna make 80, put my 12 there. Okay. All right, and the next thing I have to do is my division. So 80 divided by four. That would be 20. 12 divided by four, and that would be three. My answer here is gonna be 23. See over here, let's do the same thing we just did there. 80 divided by four equals 20. 12 divided by four equals three. I put them together, I get 23, okay? So now I'm gonna use numbers to explain. I'm gonna do the same thing as I did up there. I'm gonna say 92 divided by four, okay? So here's where I got this 20 from. I know that four fit into nine two times, all right? And that nine's in the tens place, so that two stands for 20, okay? And that's how I got my that's how I got my 80 off the bat in my head, okay? Because two times eight is eight. But now if I want you to really remember this, we're really saying 20 times four is 80, because that eight is in the tens place. So I subtract that, I get one, or one ten left over. Then I bring down my two to make 12 ones. Then four fits into 12, three times. Three times four is 12. 
subtract, I get zero. Okay? It's it's fun and it's kind of like solving a puzzle here. And I, plus I love doing number bonds. Alright? Okay. Last quite last problem here, and I think that we're gonna be good. Alright, so teachers, feel free to pause this and see if the kids can do it on their own. Or keep going, and uh, you know your classrooms better than I. Uh, do your best here. So, we're going to look at this one. It is solved 72 divided by 6 using an area model and the standard algorithm. Okay. So, this is what I'm going to do. Standard algorithm, we know what that is. That's that right there. So, 72 divided by 6. So, here's 72. Put it in the middle. Make my number bond. Ask yourself... How many sixes will fit into seven? Your answer is one, right? Well, remember that seven is a 70. So I'm gonna split this into a 60 and a 12. And the reason why I do that is because 10 times six is 60, two times six is 12. All right, I need to make sure that this six fits into these two numbers evenly, all right? And I love using tens. So over here, our area model looks like this. I've got 60 and 12, and there's my six. So six, 60 divided by six is 10. 12 divided by six is two. My answer here is 12. So let's show that here. 60 divided by six is 10. 12 divided by 2, or 6, I'm sorry, is 2. Got a little ahead of myself. Let me get that little white out here. There. Like it never happens. Divided by 6, not 2. Is 2. Good. Then I put that together, I get 12. Okay. So, what does that look like in division? 72 divided by 6. So here we go. This is where I got the 60 and 12 from. In my head, I knew that 10 sixes will get me to 60. 6 fits into 10 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. Remember, this is the 10's place. Subtract it, I'm left over with a 10. I bring down my 2. Good. Now I've got 12 left. 6 fits into 12. 2 times. 2 times 6 is 12. Subtract that, I get 0. 12, 12, and 12. All right. Well, I hope this um, helped. I hope this kind of opened your eyes a little bit to how divisions it works, about breaking numbers apart to make them easier to work with. Um, I feel like, um, you know, the, the better you can do that to make numbers fit, uh, numbers that you're, you can use easier in your head, the easier math will be. So, uh, good job today, kids. Uh, we will uh, do the re um, exit ticket tomorrow, see how much you remember of this, and uh, go from there. All right? Super proud of you kids. Keep working hard. See you tomorrow.